This is a female blue jay, rather perturbed that the feeder is empty. How do I know she's female? Watch and listen. This rattle call is made only by females. And the bobbing movement often accompanies it. I first learned that this was a female behavior from a Leslie the Bird Nerd video about how to tell males and females apart. There's a link to it down in the description. Her observations are corroborated by a blog post from the Gall Lab at Vassar College. It reads, in part, Rattle calls are only emitted by females and are often emitted within a flock, as alert calls, or when another jay intrudes on a pair's space. In the book, The Singing Life of Birds, one of the sources cited in the blog, author Donald Kreutzmann writes, It is only she who rattles, I have read, the male and female sharing all other sounds, and she often rattles when other jays intrude near her nest. My trail camera only covers a small area, of course, but this blue jay appears to be on her own. She's also directing the rattle call in multiple directions. I think the Jays may be using this call for something besides an intruder warning. Now here's a clip from five days later. At first, I thought this was clearly the same behavior as we saw in the prior clip, but some further reading made me start to doubt this. Take this detail from The Singing Life of Birds. Listening closely, I could hear a sharp click at the beginning and end of the purr, and the rattle undulates too, apparently because she bobs as she rattles. This jay doesn't bob, and she doesn't call from a tree like the other jay. I never hear a sharp click before the rattle. Do you hear anything like that from this, Jay? Maybe it's there and I'm just not hearing it. For now, though, I'm just going to assume that Blue Jays only make one type of rattle call, and that this is a female. So, could this be territorial behavior, like my sources suggest? I don't see any other jays near her, though there are definitely crows nearby. Now, there is one tantalizing similarity in context between the first and second clips. Have you noticed what it is yet? Here's a third clip from three days later. This jay's vocalizations contain a multitude of calls, and they continue off camera, probably from a tree. Like with the second jay, the camera video recorded the third jay calling from the feeder. There's no easy way to know, of course, if she's bobbing off camera. Oh, hi, Tufted Titmouse. So, did you pick up on what all three clips have in common? The feeder is empty. Within my little community of blue jays, maybe this is a signal to other jays that there's no more food. Or maybe they're calling for a waiter. I like to think they're calling out to me, but while the jays have seen me throwing peanuts out of a window on multiple occasions, I very much doubt this is the case. I do have recordings of rattle calls where the feeder is not empty, but the female doing the vocalizing is off camera.
It's tempting to think that the rattle call came from one of the jays on screen, but I really don't think it did. I don't see the beak or throat movements I'd expect to see if that were the case. Here we catch just a glimpse of a jay in one of the background trees. Now this could be the female who is vocalizing. Or this could be. This all made me wonder whether the same female Jay appeared in all three clips, or even two of the three. So I took some video stills to try to compare the three Jays. Female number one, unfortunately, is in focus only for a short time, so I couldn't capture her from as many angles. She was also further away from the camera than the others. I first compared female number one with female number two. The difference in color is striking. I thought this might be due to the lighting, but these clips were recorded at almost exactly the same time of day, just a few days apart, and in what I believe were similar weather conditions. This marking above the eye also appears to stretch further back in female number one. Based on these differences alone, I'm concluding that these are two different birds. Female number three also appears to have much duller coloration than female number two. It's fair to point out that female number three was recorded when the sun was higher in the sky and under what appear to be cloudier conditions. However, female number three has several black feathers clustered under the shoulder, a feature absent in female number two's plumage. I think that these are two different birds as well. What about female number one compared to female number three? Female number three has those black feathers, if you recall, which female number one might have, but I just can't tell for sure. The coloration is more similar between these jays, but I still think female number three's blue feathers are brighter. Female number three also has a small dark marking below the beak that female number one does not appear to have. So these are two different birds as well. So as much as I would have liked for at least two of these birds to be the same individual, I'm pretty sure that these are three different female visitors. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like it. I'm particularly interested in what comments you all have on this subject. What did you notice that I didn't? Do you disagree with any of my observations? Let me know! And as always everyone, thank you for birdwatching.